This is the Daily Market Comment by Rafi Boyajian. I'm Maria Pashurdavis. Thanks for joining us at XM.com. Support for a bipartisan stimulus proposal of up to $908 billion gained unexpected traction yesterday as more and more Republicans threw their weight behind the plan. The virus trend in the United States on all fronts has raised the urgency for another substantial fiscal package to support the economy. Without further aid, 14 million American workers will face losing their unemployment insurance from the federal government at the end of the month. If an agreement is struck, it would be Christmas coming early for the stock market, which is still riding high on the back of vaccine optimism. The Nasdaq Composite and Nasdaq 100 both closed at new record highs on Thursday. The S&P 500 closed just shy of the previous day's record, but evening futures for all Wall Street indices were headed higher at the start of European trading as the mood improved further. The vaccine breakthrough and the renewed optimism for a fiscal boost by Congress have been a boon for the never-ending rally in equity markets, but have spelled disaster for the mighty U.S. dollar. The dollar index tumbled to a fresh two-and-a-half-year low yesterday, as stronger risk appetite combined with falling real yields have triggered a widespread dollar selling. However, the dollar's descent has slowed slightly today. This is likely down to some caution ahead of the latest non-farm payrolls report due out of the U.S. at 13.30 GMT. British and European Union negotiators have been working around the clock this week to try and hammer out a deal on a post-Brexit trade accord. Increasing signs that a deal was imminent had lifted the pound to a one-year high of just under $1.35 yesterday. However, cable has since retreated, as reports suggest France has toughened its position. With the talks now being described as having gone backwards, negotiations could drag on into next week. Crude oil prices raced higher on Friday to reach their highest level in nine months as the positive sentiment in the broader markets offset the disappointment that the OPEC plus cartel failed to agree on an extension of the output cuts beyond the end of this year. Under the agreement reached, OPEC and non-OPEC countries will increase output by 500 million barrels a day from January and will meet each month to review whether to adjust output by no more than 500 million barrels per day in either direction thereafter. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thanks for joining us at XM.com.